what is the difference between stateless widget and stateful widget in the last episode we saw that we have defined a variable inside stateless widget and that variable we cannot change it so yes the sarthak is here because it was initialized when the app is built but as soon as i made any changes hit save hot reload it it doesn't affect it doesn't change that thing so what is the use of this stateless widget why it is given here so the important point of having a stateless widget is to show some information to user just like we have a title or we have some kind of image uh, and button which are just to give you some information and a simple button which is redirecting you to somewhere else so these kind of things uh, are there inside the stateless so think about the broad way anything which user not going to interact with this is just for giving the information you can put things inside the stateless widget but inside stateful widget you are going to give things which user will interact so let's do a simple practice here i will do i will create actually scaffold widget and don't worry about this we will talk about scaffold widget in depth later so inside this i will create an app bar and i will say app bar and the title of the app bar is having a text widget because you know inside flutter everything is a widget and i will give a title here and that's it and i will just reformat it with dart ftm so yeah everything is reformatted and i will give a comma save this file reformat so everything in a new line okay and one thing more we will see how we can save as well as format the code by using a snippet or macro actually on android studio in the next episode but for this we have created this title so let's see how it's going to look cool nice but this also has a body and inside body i will create a raised button a raised button think about this just as a button a raised button must have a child property which is again getting a text field and i can say click me okay and it says there is a problem it says parameter on press is required so because this is a button it require on press event i can say it's event so whenever i press this button i am just going to print pressed and pressed why two times i don't know it just came in my mind <laughs> okay so i will open the console here and i will save this file click me is here you can see and let me just maximize it so now let's press this click me button so if i press this click me button you can see pressed and pressed is there again i don't know why <laughs> two times okay so this is good this means this on press is working and what if i try to change the title so i will say new title so this should change the title so let's see and click here but we can see the title doesn't change sarthak s is still there and the most important point is pressed pressed is printed that means it is printed that means this code is working but still it is not updated the sarthak or it is not updated the title because we are on a stateless widget so how we can move to a state full widget because we cannot directly convert the my app to state full widget so let's create a state less widget to create a state less widget or simply a stateless class in flutter you just need uh, to press stf and you can see the android studio is giving a simple snippet and you can say live template and if, as soon as i hit enter it will create this scaffolding and now as soon as i press you can see it is writing three places here here and here so three places the home is there so this is my state full widget and to keep in mind the difference between the structure of stateful and stateless is state stateless widget just want one method just one method which is called build method or function whatever you want to call but 
in stateful widget the most important thing is it require create state function which is going to return another class which is extended by state yes you can directly call that here but it's a good practice to keep state class out of from stateful okay so the structure of stateful widget is it require create state state structure of stateless widget it require build but now what i'm going to do i will cut all these things this scaffolding so if i click here it is giving me that the uh, closing of this scaffolding is here or i can just read it from here scaffold given so i will select it i will cut it and i will return that here so i will just paste it and here inside home i will give home class or home widget we have created so this home is actually this one this class or they call it widget okay but now we have a problem it says title is not there so let's move this title from here from stateless widget to not inside state full widget but inside this state so i'm going to give it here okay so i will save it but you can see we have a problem it says uh, reload perform with analysis and it has it found some issues so this dart analysis tab is extremely important it will tell you whatever is going wrong in your application so the wrong is here and actually if i double click here it will take me to that point so the point is this need to be terminated by semicolon but we have a little comma here so let's just remove that comma and press save and you can see dart analysis is clean and hot reload is done so if i go yeah this is here and now what if what happened so think about this we have moved to state full widget so it should change the title from sarthak s to new title everything is same raise button on press printing pressed pressed two times again i don't know why and title new title let's try click me click me click me oh what happened we have pressed three times three times pressed pressed are there but no change we are on a state full widget hmm there is some problem actually there is no problem the point is we need to tell our state full widget that hey state full widget i want to change the state so to tell the state full widget that i need to change the uh, state we just need to say set state and now inside set state i will move this title so as soon as i do that i will format it with dart and now what we have done we have uh, we have given the information to state full widget that hey state full widget whenever i press this raised button set a state and what is state the title state with a new value of new title and let's try this as soon as i click actually it is already uh, updated because previously we have clicked so i will hot restart it to show you how it is going to change it so within a five second it will restart hot restart i will go sarthak s is there on click me you can see new title is updated and that's how we use state full widget and now we can simply make it a string so that it will look good it doesn't matter actually and the next important thing inside state full widget is because there is a init property and not a property we can say function and this function is doing a very simple thing as the name suggests in it as soon as this stateful widget is created there has to do something so if i say print and i will say uh, initialized and keep one thing in mind we always try to uh, print something to check our code but we we forgot to remove it so don't <clears throat> so don't forget to remove your wasted print otherwise you will get lots of print here and you will get confused which which one is mine or which one is i am currently looking for okay so as soon as i save this 
you can see there is nothing if I click there is nothing initializing because this initializing only work when this stateful widget is created so now you can see it will be initialized but what is the use of this okay so suppose I have not given any title value so initially there is no title value so what was going to happen because this text doesn't take null value so as soon as I hot reload it you will see that we will get error and yeah we can see we have this error and error is simply saying that this title is giving is getting null which is not a true we want some kind of a string so what can we do we can simply say title is equal to Sarthak s and here now what we are saying yeah we have defined the title and as soon as you initiate this class before doing anything just set the value of title to Sarthak s so I will hot restart this application and this time we will see something is going to happen and as you know it is going to happen it is going to give the result with no error so if I click new titles there everything is working absolutely fine so this is the simple difference between stateless and stateful let's just recap quickly so state full widget is getting the variables which are going to change or simply we can say stateful widget is for things where user will interact user will change and for dynamic things for static things where user will get just information if the user doesn't uh, going to interact with things will go inside stateless so super easy things and we will meet in the next episode to see how we can save and format things in one go just by creating a macro and giving it with a key binding so we will meet in the next episode don't forget to share this video with your friends and like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram linkedin uh, anywhere you want <laughs> okay and till then bye bye